Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a dupe or dud video about a new brand. A new dupe brand called Alter Ego just came out with a palette duping the ABH Sultry palette, and their dupe is called Temptress. Looks adorable, and then when you open it up, it is indeed very similar to Sultry. Let's zoom in. All right, so you have ABH Sultry right here on the top, and you have Alter Ego Temptress on the bottom. I've been testing out this possible dupe palette for weeks because I really wanted to give you a full overall review. I, in this video, I'm going to show you two looks just with the dupe palette. I'm going to show you the look I did side by side with both palettes, which I'm wearing on my eyes right now. See if you can guess down below first before you watch the whole video which palette I'm wearing on each eye. In addition to those looks, I'm also going to show you side-by-side -side swatches. This video is not sponsored, but Alter Ego was nice enough to actually send me this palette to review, and they actually reached out to me after they saw a previous dupe or dud video that I did with another ABH palette that I compared against a Bad Habit palette. So if you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards. It was very nice to actually have a new company like this reach out, you know, citing a specific video saying, you know, we really like the way you did this. We're coming out with a new palette. We would love for you to try it out. So I, I really appreciated that. I went back and forth with their social media marketing manager who was nice as anyone can be. Uh, so I really appreciate, thank you Alter Ego for sending me this and I was really happy to test it out and I'm excited for this review. So with all that intro out of the way, let's jump in. This is actually the first palette that Alter Ego has come out with and it's the only item that they currently have on their website. This retails for $16 and you get 14 shades in the same kind of format as the ABH palette. Right now on Alter Ego's website there is free shipping and when you order this palette you actually get two, a set of like two eyeshadow brushes with it and I'm gonna talk about these just a little bit later but I thought that's kind of cute that they're throwing in like a little extra like that along with free shipping like I'm a sucker for free shipping. The ABH Sultry palette is listed on Sephora right now for $45 same shades right here and something I've actually like noticed I don't know if anyone else has noticed this I have been rouge for like two years if not more and I used to always get the free two-day shipping now they, they like change their whole system and so rouge doesn't get two-day shipping free anymore you get like free standard shipping and apparently you have to like purchase the two-day shipping sidebar it has nothing to do with this video I just noticed that and I thought it was kind of weird that they would kind of like start taking away perks from Rouge as opposed to doing more, but that's another video for another time. But that being said, if you're not Rouge, you'd have to pay for shipping. And if you are Rouge, you'd have to either do the standard shipping or pay for expedited, which is going to be a lot of money. So before I show you the look I did today, let's go ahead and jump into the side-by-side -side swatches of these palettes, because I have to say, I was very impressed. Those are all of the swatches. I have to say, like, I was actually really shocked by how similar the matte shades were. I've done a couple of videos on other dupe brands, specifically Bad Habit, and while their matte shades have been very close, they haven't been like this identical, which is kind of... I mean, I'm, I was very impressed by the swatches, but swatches are one thing. How a palette performs and how it wears throughout the day is another. So. If you couldn't already guess, I'm actually wearing Sultry on this eye today, and I'm wearing the Alter Ego on this eye today. And I have to say, by looking at them side by side, I, I honestly can't tell that I'm wearing a dupe. 
and that's really really nice so let's jump first into how i got this look So that's how I got this look today. This was actually my favorite look that I first did with Sultry because I swatched the shade Cyborg. That's a shade I used all over my lid on the ABH side. And that entranced me. That's my favorite shade in this palette. So I knew if I was going to do this dupe video, I had to test this out and make sure that the Cyborg dupe was as good as this one. And it is. <laughs> It is. It's a gorgeous shade and it lasts really well on my lid throughout the day. Let's go ahead and jump next into the other two looks I created just using the Alter Ego palette.
So those were the two looks I did with just this palette. I really wanted to show you how this palette could also work on its own and that it can really hold up its own weight and it really can be an all-in-one palette. You do have some nice neutrals, of course, based on the ABH palette. So this can be an everyday palette. Every day that I wore this, I was going to work. So very work appropriate. This one is a bit smokier, but again, I did wear this exact work exact work. I did wear this exact look to work as well. So I do find all of these to be very colorful, very creative, and very work slash school appropriate. One thing I do want to mention is I always use a glitter glue whenever I put anything on my lids. I do that for my ABH palettes. I do that for my Natasha Denona palettes back here. I do that for every palette just because I have very hooded lids and that's the only way I can get stuff to stay on them. That being said, I tested out every shimmer shade in the Alter Ego palette, and they all worked well with the glitter glue throughout the day with one exception, which was kind of a disappointment because it was another shade that I really liked in the ABH palette that I was hoping to find a nice dupe for, and that's the shade Seduction in the Alter Ego palette, which is supposed to dupe the shade Pearl in the ABH palette. I have a video clip, I'll throw that in right here, showing what this looks like at the end of a day. Unfortunately, it creased, and this was after using glitter glue, and this was after doing everything I normally do. I did see heavy creasing on this shade. That being said, you could only see that creasing when you were very close, but when I have shades, even shades in the same palette where I know I can wear them all day and not see that creasing, I'm not going to reach for this shade as often. So I would recommend uh, using this shade as more of an inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight, because in my experience, it doesn't last well on the lid, which, which is odd, because I'd never, I didn't have that problem with any of the other shades. So I thought that was a bit odd. I didn't know if maybe it was like a, a formula issue or if maybe it's just because of the color it is. I don't know anything about beauty chemistry, so don't at me, but I did see that when I was testing out this palette. So, final thoughts. Do I think this is an adequate dupe? Yes. Yes, I think this is actually incredible. My favorite part are how great the mattes are. If you've seen my Bad Habit or any other dupe videos that I've done, I've talked specifically about how hard it is for companies to dupe the matte shades and how it seems it's easier to dupe shimmers, but that when it comes to mattes, it's hard to find a dupe that has mattes that actually are pigmented and that actually blend. I didn't have any issues with these shades. Of course, they're not as highly pigmented as the ABH shades. I could build them up really easily, but even though, like with the darker shades, I found myself doing kind of the same routine I do with my ABH ones, like to tap off the excess, maybe do a dab or two on my hand, just to make sure I'm not going in too heavy because the darker shades definitely have pigmentation. The only shades I really had to build up personally were blush, which is like the little pinky shade, peachy shade right there, and lust, kind of like that light beige shade. Everything else was amazing. These shades are pressed incredibly hard. <laughs> the matte shades, I will say that. You kind of have to dig in to get product, which is like the total opposite of this palette. So using them side by side was, it was interesting. Uh, but I found that it actually made it easier to use. Like, I know that sounds weird, but with the ABH formula, they're so, like, soft and they're so pigmented. You have to be careful. It's almost like working with subculture. Subculture is still, you know, an ABH palette, and those shades within subculture just made the same process that you would use when you're using ABH shadows anyway more difficult. But I still do do kind of the same thing. Like I dip lightly, I tap excess off, I tap off on the back of my hand, I go in lightly. It's almost a little too easy to get way too much on and then it's kind of difficult to blend out. I really think that this dupe palette is best for someone who has difficulty working with softer shadows or maybe is more of a beginner because this seemed 10 times easier to use it was faster to use than my ABH palettes, and I got the same looks. Yeah, I can't express that enough. Like, this is kind of like using like a video game cheat code on an ABH palette. <laughs> That's, hmm. yeah. 
So those are my thoughts. I tested this palette out thoroughly. I think this is 100% worth the $16, especially with free shipping. That's kind of awesome. And if I had known about this or if it had come out, because this I think this just came out in January. So if I had known about this, I don't think I would have picked up Sultry. As pretty as this packaging is, you know, I was really more interested in the color story, especially in that cyborg shade. I feel kind of silly now because I didn't need to get it. This is, I would have gotten this instead. In the interest of full disclosure, Alter Ego did give me a discount code to use, but since they only have one product out so far, I didn't 100% feel comfortable, you know, putting that out there. It only saves you 10% anyway. If you want to purchase this palette and you want to use that code, you know, DM me. I could shoot it over to you. But I didn't want to like publicly put it in like my description box or anything until they came out with more products and until I was able to try out more of their line. I really hope they come out with more palettes soon. I would especially love to see an all matte palette considering how much I really liked the matte formula. Uh, I saw in the emails back and forth with the company that they are looking to come out with more palettes soon, so I'll definitely keep my eyes out for those. I don't know if I will own every single one of the originals, because I did see that they're trying to do some more Natasha Denona palettes, like ones I had to talk myself out of, that I'd be willing to buy a dupe of. <laughs> So I'm actually very excited. This is a very promising start to a brand. I could definitely see them giving like Bad Habit a run for their money, especially since their mattes are so great. Sidebar, I forgot to talk about the eyeshadow brushes. So this is just a cute little like extra they throw in when you purchase the brushes. They're actually like really nice quality. I've washed these twice, though I really only use one of them. The first one is kind of like this big crease brush. Unfortunately with my eye shape it's like a bit too, you see how it's kind of really big? So I can't really use it as a crease brush. I use it when I'm trying to like diffuse or go in with a clean brush to like blend stuff out, but I don't use it as often. I actually really like this other brush. So this one is shaped really uniquely. It's like this big kind of like dome thing and I love using this to set my primer. <laughs> I've just been using this every day to set my eyeshadow primer and it's worked really well. It's very soft and it's really nice and I thought it's a really cute like little extra they throw in. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you're interested in seeing more of this dupe or dud series. Thank you again and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.